Good afternoon everybody, Pick It For Profit coming to you with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick haul video. I went to Jamie's Flea Market as well as Berea Flea Market this morning. Berea on Saturdays is hit or miss, not a lot of vendors. I did pick up a few items and Jamie's on Saturday is the big day for Jamie's so I picked up a few items there. So for the first item that I purchased at Berea which is just a couple streets away is this Homedics massager. I paid three dollars for this. Estimated resale after I clean it up a bit is between 29 and 35 bucks. Not too bad for three dollars. This next bunch of items I purchased all from one guy. I purchased everything that you're gonna see for ten dollars um, and in that lot was this brush. He told me this was a barber brush to help brush the hair off your shoulders. Not entirely sure that that's accurate. I'm gonna do some research. Um, I just think it's really cool. You can see all the hairs are hand stitched. Has an awesome look, cool piece of history, and uh, I enjoy doing the research even after I buy it. And on that brush, since I don't really know anything about it, I can't say exactly how much I think it's worth, but just because of the look, I would say uh, no less than 15 to 20 bucks. The next thing I purchased in that lot is this small uh, brass or bronze horse, uh, horse and jockey. It is cracked on the back, not sure if you can see that. Um, it's marked Japan on the bottom. Really cool. I estimate I paid a dollar for this. Again, I purchased everything for ten dollars. Um, this will probably just end up on my shelf because the resale value of this is so low. But I might end up selling it. I won't sell it for any less than five dollars. I purchased this trench lighter in that lot as well. This one is pretty cool. You see them made in uh, China or Japan, some uh, knockoff ones. They're vintage, but they're still uh, not original. This one is made in Austria, which is really cool. This is a trench lighter. You pull this up and it sparks and lights and it helps block the wind. Really cool. Um, I've sold these before, some of the knockoff ones for uh, I believe 10 bucks at my booth. I'll put this on eBay and get hopefully 20 bucks. And within that lot, I got these two. Again, I've shown you this uh, same kind of art before. It is enamel on copper, really big in the 60s and the 70s. This one does have a tag on the back with the maker. Has some butterflies. It's extremely heavy. There's no chips. This is really nice. I would sell this for no less between 10 and 15. Um, it might go for more. I'm going to do some research. And then I also got this little one with some flowers. This would just go for about two or three bucks at my booth. It's just really cool and uh, it looks good with all my other stuff. So that's everything that I got at the Bria Flea Market. Like I said, wasn't a lot of people selling. Uh, tomorrow will be the big day for Berea. Uh, the main flea market to go to around here is Jamie's on Saturday or Hartville. Hartville's an hour away. Jamie's is about 20 minutes. So I chose Jamie's and I got uh, some interesting stuff. So let's look at it. Okay, so something that I usually don't sell a whole lot of are clothing. Um, I know a lot of people do. I follow the uh, Rockstar Flipper Casey as well as Rake and Profit. Check out their channels if you haven't. I'm sure you've heard of them. Um, with that said, uh, I seen a lady, she was selling ties. Some of the ties have really good names. Um, she was wanting $3. I talked her down to $2 a tie. Then I said, how much will you take for all the ties? She counted them. There's 24 ties. Uh, she told me $35. I talked her down to $25. We ended up settling at $27. So I got 24 ties for $27. And most of these are going to be uh, $10 ties on eBay. So I'll turn that $27 into about $250. Not too shabby. Maybe I'll get lucky and sell a few for a little more than that. So about 25 times my money. Uh, 10 times my money. I also got at that same booth, um, she wanted six bucks for these dress shirts. Extremely clean. Even the white is like spotless. This is a white Ralph Lauren um, Yarmouth, 100% two poly cotton, size 17 and a half, 32 by 33. Uh, it's a bigger shirt. She wanted six bucks for this. I offered her five after uh, beating her up a little bit. Uh, I got them down to five dollars each. This other one is a beautiful, uh, again, no issues with it. This is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. 
Again, super clean, really nice. Uh, Five dollars a piece. Not sure what I can get for these. I'm hoping between 15 and 20 bucks a piece. Also at Jamie's, I purchased this race car. It's blue, plastic. Um, Process Plastic Company, Aurora, Illinois. So really cool. Number 98, as you can see on this side. This is I paid two dollars for this. This isn't a big money uh, maker. I might make ten dollars on this, or not make ten dollars. I'll sell this for ten dollars. Probably only make five or six bucks profit when all said and done. Really cool to look good and it'll bring guys into my booth. And this other item I got is this cast aluminum, maybe lead actually. Uh, elephant, really heavy, white with a great patina. I purchased this for a dollar. Really cool. I'll sell this in my booth for five bucks. I always buy these little display cases. I got this one for two dollars. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it yet but I'm sure you'll see it in one of my videos at my booth. Really cool. Always pick these up. You throw anything in here, it makes it look a lot more interesting. All right, these next three items I purchased again from Jamie's Flea Market. I bought these all from one uh, buyer, which I also bought some other stuff. I'll show you in a minute. This first one is a bullet. Um, you pull it out, you put the fluid in there, and the lighter part is right there. Really cool. I've sold these in the past. I'll probably only be, uh, get about eight to ten dollars for this. Uh, I purchased all three lighters for fifteen, so not a huge money maker. But again, it looks cool in my booth. And then what I really wanted was these Zippo lighters. There's two of them. They have really good uh, detail on the side. They're brand new, with the sticker still sealed on the back, the case, and the paperwork. Again, I purchased. Each lighter for five bucks, fifteen for all three of them. I believe I can get ten to fifteen bucks uh, a piece on these Zippos, uh, selling them on eBay, and then roughly ten dollars at my booth, maybe online uh, for this bullet lighter. I also purchased this little box. It's just a wood uh, box with some, I don't know, some dovetail, some poor man's dovetail. Uh, not really sure why I bought it. Besides, it looks cool. I'll probably just throw some trinkets in here. Um, let people give me the option or give people the option to sell the box for five dollars if not uh, it'll just hold some pictures or something at my booth really cool for a dollar can't lose I also purchased these four skeleton keys extremely dirty uh, skeleton keys do really well around here I can sell these for between two and three bucks a piece I'll probably go for two dollars a piece just because I paid 50 cents a piece so four keys two dollars it's a win this was one of my favorite things I bought. I purchased this from someone I know pretty well at the flea market. Sterling silver uh, cuff brink bracelet with a piece of turquoise. I purchased this for, I believe, $8. $8. I don't think I beat her up any. Um, I'll put this on eBay after some good pictures. Hopefully I'll get between $19.99 and $24.99. From the same lady that I purchased the uh, sterling silver and turquoise cuff from, I also purchased this little sterling silver cross with looks like onyx or some kind of stone in the middle. Really cool. It's just a charm for a necklace. Um, for a dollar, I probably put this on eBay and it'll sell for about $9.99. And one of the best things I found today was this solitaire. I've sold these big screen solitaires in the past. I've actually had a, three or four of them brand new in the package bring well over $100. Um, I haven't tested this one yet. The people I bought it from said it worked, but everyone says their stuff works even when it doesn't. So I'll test this. As soon as it works, I'll probably put this on eBay for about $34.99 all the way up to $49.99, depending on where the market's at right now. I'm gonna go for a quick sale. Since you can see right here, I only paid a buck. In this bag right here, I have several items. Um, really interesting tie clips, tie tacks. Everything's either a cuff link, a tie tack, or a tie clip. The, the bag's quite full. There's probably 25 to 30 uh, different items in here. I'll, I'll put these in a lot, put them on eBay. And the lot that I actually photographed a video, or shot it in my previous video, that I said I was going to put on eBay, I put those on. I put them on for $14.99, and they sold the same day. So I'll do that with these. Um, obviously there's more in here and the quality of these ones is higher 
So I will up my price. I'm uh, looking for about $29. I paid uh, $7 for everything in this bag. So really good score. And the last thing I purchased uh, was this pen. The lady said she was selling some vintage um, purses and I seen this pen laying on the table. She said she had found it in one of the bags. So I looked at it. It's actually 14 karat, this whole surrounding tip up here. Really good score. The tip's probably only worth between, I don't know, five to 10 bucks, probably closer to five. Um, there's no name on the pen, none that I could see anyway. So I'm gonna try to do some research, but I should be able to at least get $20 for this pen. If not, I'll rip the gold off, uh, put it in my little bundle of gold that I've been saving, add it to the rainy day fund. All right, everybody, that's everything I got today at the flea market. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, helps me know if you like these kind of videos. Let me know in the comments below if you liked any of the items, if you found any cool items, or if you want to see a different kind of video. Please like, share, subscribe. Peace out.